All right, you may begin. Um, throughout the whole English year, what is the most valuable thing that you've learned about literature and reading? The most valuable thing that I've learned in literature and reading is through To Kill a Mock. This book brought to life not only the racism in our world, but how influential family is. I learned how through reading and literature, many lessons can be taught in the emotional time it brings. I agree with the fact that you said that different things can be taught through it. And I also added that it seems as in books, there's like almost a hole to the plot where you fill in like what your imagination is thinking of it to be, which I think is why you relate to books the more you read, just because your brain is taught to do that. And I found that in To Kill a Mockingbird. At the end, when we talked about how the two mockingbirds were um, Boo Radley and shoot, what was the other? Tom Robinson. And I wouldn't have thought that that was the reason for the title until Ms. Hartwick said that. I would have thought more of Jem and Scout as like how they're not harmful, but they're always there. Just how I feel about them. Tucker, what did you have? Uh, the most valuable thing about reading literature, Brownie. Ah. Literature and reading was the writing process we did with the stories, um, where we did different um, structures of writing with like our literature journal and our blogs to help us remember our writings. Stain or Ashton, did you have anything? No, i kind of the same as Emerson. What do you think, Jenna? I also had how racism affects me and functionally. Did you have a personal experience for that, Jenna? Yeah. No, but I think that the BLM protests um, that are fighting against the brutality of the example of how racism is still alive today. Stephen? Um, I agree with Emerson on uh, killing Mark, uh, to kill a the killing Mark and Burger in a very interesting story. Then I also agree with Tucker um, for the writing skills to uh, make the story more interesting. I agree with what Dan had to say about the BMF protest because it shows how black folks are being treated unfairly. Yeah, I agree with that too. Carter, Carter, Carter do you have to say anything? <laughs> I agree with everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Carter. Carter, did you have a personal experience of your plan? Hmm. It changed how people think and how they feel. Yes, I like that answer. Yeah. Um, now on to writing. What's the most valuable thing that you learned about the writing process this year? Ashton, you want to start us off? Um, no, I don't really have anything. <laughs> um, um, I think that the most important thing that I learned was that to make a good essay, you have to do multiple steps, like how we did the, the skeleton and the rough draft and the peer reviews, and then we had our final. I thought that really helped me make a better essay that flowed through. Would you also agree that in having all of those different steps, even though it seems like it takes longer, it really makes it go faster? Yeah. Makes it better, that. too. Yeah. That's what I kind of said was you don't have to take like three days to write a paper in good depth if you plan everything out and stay organized and find the way that is best organized for you then you can write a very solid paper in a short period of time without having to stress about it mm -hmm. once you have your routine down it'll just kind of get the juices in your blood and flow i think the most valuable thing i've learned in the writing process is from our letters to journals from our letters to journals i've learned just write what you are thinking and don't think about it too much Carter? Uh, the quality of your work. Well, more. The quality of your work will be uh, better the more effort you put into it, and it'll be worse the uh, less effort you put into it. Do you agree that that kind of ties in with finding out your own writing process and what organizes your thoughts best? Yeah. Tucker, do you have anything to add? Uh, mine was a lot like Jenna's, um, planning it out, like our last writing assignment for our narratives when we had to make the scenes, it really helped make the scenes to build up to the story and it helped put together the story. Then when we went to the final draft, it was a lot easier to read through and to make, make changes on what we needed to make changes on. Um, I think the most valuable thing I've learned in the writing process is that 
Ashton, you have anything to say about this? No, I'm going kind of with you. Just makes it easier to write scores. Um, I feel like the writing process helped me like make my body stronger with like imagery and descriptive language as well. And even taking this out of just writing, like just in the real world in real life, you won't always have time to just sit down and think about your decisions. And once you figure out like what works best for you, you'll be able to make a stronger decision without having to take so long to think about it. Um, what's the most valuable thing this year that we learned about our communication skills? I learned about how like um, the most valuable thing about communication is that there are many forms of communication that don't just involve talking and more uh, like nonverbal and verbal types of communication. And through communication you can learn a lot about self. I think this year communicating with other people to learn was very important because my masks, like we couldn't like we had to just say what we thought we couldn't just show facial expressions or emotions. Yeah. yeah. I would add on to both of that how nonverbal communication really does so much and I guess I like that example of how it was so hard because mm -hmm. pretty much all you have is eye contact yeah. to be able to tell if you're really paying attention or what you feel about what the other person is saying. And yeah, yeah. The body language is such a huge part of makes you understand more. Yeah. yeah. Carter, what do you think? I agree with uh, Jenna and Ashton. Do you think communication affects like like your learning being online? Uh, yeah, this feels really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing is thinking about body language. I feel like most people think about it as either you have negative body language or you just don't really think about it. But there's also different like positive types that would make you be able to tell if you really want to walk up to this person and talk to them or get their input on it. But yeah. Does anybody have anything to add or mm -hmm. disagree with? No? Oh. What's the most valuable thing that you learned this year about thinking, Mercedes? I've learned that if you practice and repeat things over and over again, you'll remember it better. Tying to that, I also I would like the most valuable thing that I learned about talking and thinking is that like like how learning will affect your thinking and like when you learn more, you'll tend to think a little differently and take different standards. Yeah. Um, I learned that in order to really like grasp a lesson, you need to go in there with an open mind and not be very biased. Mm -hmm. Or is the subject yeah, I agree with her. Say these, it makes it easier for you to understand things. You know, say it out. I had a lot of life for these, um, but instead of like talking about it, I like to write it down. I feel yeah. writing it down or memory or going over it a lot more really helped me memorize different things we were talking about. This year, I feel like tests, like testing, was a big thing that I was working on, and. Learning about the metacognition unit, how like your prefrontal cortex isn't fully developed, and I feel like something that I wanted to work on was just trusting my gut, I guess, because the more time you leave for your thoughts to like marinate, then you're overthinking, mm -hmm. and I guess the first answer that I think I need to go with instead of trying to figure out ways why it would be wrong. I thought like the metacognitive like unit that we did really helped with that. And like make us realize about where learning and thinking is. I had never thought about like how you think or why you think how you do, but I think it was good to learn about that at the beginning of the year, so it gave us the right mindset going throughout. As you can always change your mindset and I guess just strive for more than you're already at. Carter. I said that uh, I learned that everyone has a different way of thinking about stuff, and they learn about stuff in a different way. Mm 
anybody have anything to add? I don't think so. What's the most valuable thing you learned about yourself through English 1? I think when you're going through the medical to less <laughs> Um, I think one of the most important things I learned was the type of learner I am. Because that can help me, especially this year, because we can, like, when we're at home, we can pretty much teach ourselves everything. Then that will help me keep myself better if I know how I need to do it. I like how you tied that in with kind of just being more independent as this is our first year of high school, just learning about yourself more. Um, the most valuable thing that I learned was when we first started doing our writings. I feel that I need to slow down a little more when it comes to writings and maybe not be so repetitive in different writings we've done. Like on our last writings we did for our narratives, it seemed like I did a lot of repeating. And if I went back and maybe slowed down and not have repeated and try to get as much origin as I could, maybe I would have gotten less words than 1,800 or I agree with that. I hadn't thought about that, but that's something I guess I've grown up to. I agree with Tucker with like the writing portion. Like I learned about like how my writing can be impactful to some people and like you can have emotional connection with your writing if you like reflect on what you're writing. Tegan, you wanna give it to me again? Do you agree that life writing is something valuable you learn in the book? Yeah. On the stories that we read, um, we can summarize them, like, add more. And it also helps you think of what we just read and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I agree with what Tucker had said. What Tucker said this year in English when I learned how to read writing her papers because you would go back and change your add things to make it better to write it. Uh, I learned that I uh, learned better seeing something instead of hearing it. Mine, what I learned was, I guess, a little more personal than just the things we actually learn in class. Um, with this new grading system, it taught me like I can always push myself further and wherever the set limit is, then there's always more. And if you get the right set of like rules to follow, then you'll slowly be able to work your way up higher. We still got two minutes. What are some of the texts or activities that you did in class that helped you learn those things? I thought it's kind of a lot, but it helped my like writing process and like what I put into my writing. Because I feel like we learned a lot from and like a lot of yeah. for that. I remember way back in the beginning of the year thinking about communication. We went through a slide, so that was nonverbal communication. I talked about body language and even how just like the clothes that you wear can show what type of attitude you might have towards different yeah, things. Yeah, I agree with mm -hmm. that a lot. Literally anything you do can like, it, like you express yourself and you can tell people what your attitude is. All right, outside circle. What did the inside circle do well? They did what? Well, they did good, including each other. In conversation. Yes, including each other in the conversation, making sure that everybody got in, especially Carter, since he's um, virtual here, which is hard <laughs> and awkward. Yes, so he did well there. Good. What else did they do well? Uh, I think they use like good evidence relating like how they learn through literature and reading and like along with like their writing process and how like Mercedes tied into like the literacy grant. Yeah. 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 Connecting those ideas. Not only connecting the ideas, but connecting the um, evidence 
um, that show those ideas, which then um, promotes more ideas. Good. Anthony, what were you going to say? Uh, kind of like the office setting, like connecting it to a real-life situation, like a general day, yeah. 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 And <laughs> especially in school, connecting it to, to real-life uh, events outside of our classroom is huge. That's why we're in school. We're in, in school to learn how to be better people um, all around, not just in the school building. So great. Building on that collective understanding. Um, wonderful. Outside circle, what are some things you're going to keep in mind at, when you come in? Uh, just be very open-minded. Yeah. Else's thoughts. Be open-minded, intellectually flexible. Ooh. Carter has to take off his headphones. <laughs> Sorry, Carter. Blaster. Your eardrum. Okay, what were you going to say? Was it Owen that was speaking? No. It's not good. No. Okay, outside circle, could you hear them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. speak speak a little louder. Okay, so articulate, enunciate. All right, very quickly and quietly switch places. Inside circle, when you go outside, you'll be working on that far right column of the interesting point. circle you're you're noting interesting claims on that far right uh, column uh, inside circle you could have the full 15 minutes you can can you connect to other claims that were made in the first round yeah yes, yes you can this is a whole class collective understanding not just the individual rounds all right you may begin okay so what is what was the most valuable thing you learned about literature and reading uh, one thing I learned is that um, books, like things in books, they can teach you many lessons. For instance, in um, To Kill a Mockingbird, um, they taught us about racism and how it can affect many people. Yeah, like I'm agreeing with Reagan, like in TKM, it really shows real life situation when reading a book and it really helps you like develop and give you a better understanding on what's actually going on. Yeah. What about you, Jaden? How do you feel about this? Um, I agree because when I when I was reading that, it helped me read faster and uh, teaches you about teaches you a lesson about it. Yeah, I want to connect with what Carter said and like the way books can change the way you think and feel. Like when reading about the TKM and stuff like that, it really like gave me a better understanding on how it actually was back then and how they actually thought about it and like going up throughout the generations and how it affected each generation. Yeah, to go off that, like, I agree that, like, books and literature, like, make you realize how much people influence your daily life, like, your family and friends, and it, like, shapes the person you become and makes you recognize, like, how, who you surround yourself with. Like, in the, in To Kill a Mockingbird, the town had all the same view, and they, like, we're all very racist, racist, except for like the Finch family, which they grew up around each other, so they had a different viewpoint than everyone else. Uh, Gary? I agree with that, and I think it was really helpful to read the book from a reader's view and an author's view. It really helps you understand where the author is coming from and their perspective of it. Mm -hmm. Owen, what do you think? Uh, I agree with that, and also the ability to reflect on things that you read about. Like um, what Hopper said, being able to do it. Macy, do you have anything? Uh, I agree with what Anthony said. Um, so, what is the most valuable thing you learned about the writing process? Um, the most valuable thing I learned is that it's a long process, but the 
the many steps, um, it's worthwhile and really improves your essay. Yeah, I agree because it like it helped me formulate my thoughts before putting it on paper and then before perfecting it. This uh, lesson can be applied throughout life. Like you can think about the good and bad things before doing it and think about it uh, through fully, so then you can like have a good outcome. Yeah, like during the narrative essay, when I was writing it, I didn't really have very much descriptive words that gave the readers a good feeling towards my book. So I feel like using more words that are descriptive will help you. Like a better word choice? Yeah. And more detail? Yeah. I learned about more like the planning process about it. Like compared to the hurricane essay that we did, I guess you can have a plan with it. Yeah. And doing the planning and the organizing and stuff made the narrative a lot easier. Yeah. Do you have anything to add, Jaden? Um, I agree with Macy. Planning helped me see what I wanted to write about. I also think that the peer reviews, they help a lot because you get other people's thoughts about what you should do to improve your essay. And you can make it that much better. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, this is something that I've used, like, throughout life in school. Like, we've always tried to plan everything out and make, like, a rough draft and, like, think about the setting and the problem, conflict, plot. And so this has just taught me to, like, use a lot, utilize the different ways of thinking it out. Colin, what do you think? Um, the multiple steps that it takes to make a good uh, essay. Do you have anything to add? Uh, yeah, I, I think that the more detail you have, the better off you're going to be. Because there's, with the more detail, you can, the reader has more to read off of and understand where the author is coming from. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Because like, giving emotion to the reader makes them more interested and will inspire them to keep reading it. You want a lot of detail, but then again, you don't want to have too much that it's overwhelming. And yeah. So. Are we all good on this one? Okay. What is the most valuable thing that you learned about communication? I said the most valuable thing that I learned was the different ways that people use it, I guess. So like social media, Facebook. Yeah, I feel in this class we like talk a lot about communication. Like, uh, I learned that communication makes everything easier to like work together with people, and it can be a skill that helps a person become successful throughout life. And it's always something you can have in your everyday life. Yeah, like agreeing with what the other group said with the mask, it's been like more difficult, especially in this generation with COVID and stuff like that. Harder to give off the facial expression, so you really have to use your words more. And I thought that you have to be really confident in what you say and that there is a multiple, multitude of ways to communicate. Yes, I agree with that. Javen, do you think like the slides we did over like nonverbal, verbal expressions and messages helped with like sh showing us new ways of communication? Uh, yeah, it helped me because it told me it helped me like learn to say what I'm thinking and bring it out. What do you think, Ellen? Uh, I think uh, this past year has been the hardest uh, way to communicate because of the mess and the ability to not be able to uh, communicate the normal, all of the normal ways, I guess. Yeah, I agree with that. This year has just been so different. We've had to find ways to like work around not being able to like come to school all the time and like having to do online and use Zoom and stuff. Like Carter said, online learning can affect like communication skills because it is sometimes awkward talking through a computer to people actually in person. And it's hard to just like understand what they're saying because of like the yeah. time it comes through and delay. Yeah. yeah. So what is the most valuable thing you learned about learning and thinking? Uh, Jaden, would you like to start this one? Uh, I 
think the most important thing that I learned was similar to what Emerson had said when they had theirs, just knowing how you can learn and basically having enough sleep when you need. Yeah, like going with Macy when we did like beginning of the year when we learned a lot about our brain and how sleep and everything like that can help you develop a better learning strategy when coming to school and being more awake and just being more active, I guess. It just allows you to really obtain knowledge easier. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, especially this year, like personal learning is like has been hard, but at the same time has taught me to like make myself learn in a new way that I have to teach myself. So I have to like take notes and like make sure I read through things thoroughly and just make sure I have everything I need. I agree with all three. Yeah. You have to really yeah. focus on what you're learning. Sometimes, yeah, like, and sometimes you need to like repeat it so it's in your head and you don't just not think of it. Yeah, I agree. Owen, do you have anything? Awesome. Yeah. David, do you agree or disagree with us? I agree with you guys. Yeah, like, to add on to it too, you need to, like, go into it with something with an open mind and be able to, like, want to obtain the knowledge and not just go in there thinking you don't want to learn and not be prepared. So, what is the most valuable thing you learned about yourself through English one? Um, I think the most important thing that I learned was how to prepare myself in order to give advice. So, I'm really trying to learn everything. Yeah, I agree with that. And I think that I learned that I'm a better writer than I think I am, and that what the easiest way for me to learn is. I agree with you, Jared. <laughs> Yeah, one thing that I really learned about myself, especially being online some of the year, is that like I tend to like wait till the last minute to do things, especially when I'm online, because I have more like free time, I feel like. And so I just put things off until like the last minute, which can be a bad and good thing. Like sometimes I would not get a good grade because I waited till the last minute. But like as I kept on throughout the, this English one, I just like got better at getting my things done. I agree, with you. I agree with you. I was the same way at the beginning of the year. I kind of pushed things off, and then throughout the year, I got better and improved. What did you learn, Alan? I think I learned uh, the, the type of person I am, I guess, just not even just this English class, but uh, here with other different challenges, I guess. Jamin, what's something you've learned about yourself during this one? Um, I was going to say I agree with Hopper because I use putting my stuff off until the last minute too and then doing it later. But I got better at that. And, yeah. It seems like we all have about the same thing. Yeah. I also feel that like Throughout online learning, you had to teach yourself, so you had to really put your mind to it. And I learned that that's something I'm not as good at because I don't stay focused very well. And like learning just by hearing is harder, and I'd rather be there doing it, like with the whole group. Yeah, like yeah. online learning, I really mostly just watch YouTube while I was in the class, if I'm being completely honest. I wasn't full, fully on attention on the screen because when I'm at home, I just want to relax and not really do work, but being at school kind of forces you to do the work, so. Yeah, yeah I well, agree. Anthony, like online, it's so hard at home because you have so many distractions. And then in a school setting, you are like, you're more focused. Yeah, I feel like at school you have to be more focused and like, it's just something that you need to have in order mm -hmm. to like do good. Yeah. This is like an actual teacher in front of you. I also learned like online throughout the year that it can be very stressful at some points in time because you don't have 
others to talk to or teachers not all the time to talk to about your thoughts or yeah. how you're doing. I feel like the teacher really just gave a lot of gave us a lot of busy work so we would have to like learn it more by ourselves and actually being in a classroom and learning about the topic. So it was like kinda of harder just to try to learn it by yourself and to develop the skills at home. Especially not in a kid learning environment. Jared, what were you gonna say? Um I was gonna agree with you guys that like Yeah, <laughs> that there were a bunch of distract. There are still distractions here at school, but there's not. A, but like you can't go and do them. So when you're in the classroom, you have to do your work, and they're, they're like you can't go do whatever that is distracting. Yeah. So I think we all agree. That like online learning has changed how we learned and how we've adapted to like personally teaching ourselves throughout school and like reading has become a big part of like our lives. Yeah. I feel like online learning would be part of us for a while now. So like I feel like this COVID thing will go away for a while. So we're gonna have to adapt to a new learning way of learning through a computer and just teaching yourself. What can you take away from this class to help you with that? Um, I, I think this could be good for when you get older. You won't always have someone there to do it for you or help you with it. Yeah, like in college, you're going to have to like do things on your own. You're going to have online classes just like we are now. And you're just going to take away like we're going to have to use like our communication skills we've learned and like things we've learned about our brain and learning. Are you okay? Are you okay with doing this own the online process? Um, it was it was a struggle for me too, and I think I saw this article where it said like a lot of kids do a lot worse when they're online. Just, they don't have that. So, yeah. yeah, honestly, I, I feel like this was an opportunity for us to like see what actually would happen if. We just all went online and it really just fell apart. I feel like it wasn't as strong. Yeah, I feel like as much as we talk about how we need school, I wouldn't be able to learn this if yeah. I weren't. Right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like, I want to come to school more than be online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too. I'm so glad to hear that. So glad to hear that. And I'm so glad to hear that you learned some skills that you know you can apply in all of those other situations. Fabulous job. Outside circle, what did they do well? The inside circle. They really talked. They all had a lot. They tied in. They all spoke. Okay, is it good that we, um, and necessary that we all agree and not disagree? No. 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 I think we brought up different points, but it's yes. not like we were disagree different perspectives right yeah, exactly. because we want to build and broaden broaden and build build bigger in a bigger way I feel like our these understanding weren't really yeah, it's but they're like, yeah. yes different perspectives different evidence different um opinions about what we have done yes very good what else outside circle what did they do well Right. And they connected to the previous discussion as well for our overall um, collective understanding. Very good. I'm very proud of all of you for the growth that you have experienced all year, not just with your Socratic discussions. But um, how many of you would say, I can totally speak um, much better now in front of people than before. Yes, and the more you do that, the better you will be. And it forces you to organize your thoughts, um, especially when you take the time and thought to prepare. So fabulous job, guys. Um, Carter, well, I'm going to stop recording here. And then I'll, oops, wrong one. I was thinking that being online because I had to speak. Good, yeah.